Hey, my name is Lisa Kessler from Kessler Insurance, and I'm here today on behalf of Cheers for Charity New Hampshire, and recording more than, we've now recorded more than 50 of these awesome videos that allow us to share amazing initiatives that are being um, implemented by really, really good people in our community, in the Seacoast community. And I have the privilege of doing this with my dear friend and partner, uh, Joanne Burchak. Hey, Joanne, nice to see you. Hi, Lisa. Thank you. Yeah, this is great. Um, so uh, I'm Joanne Burchuk. I'm with Lighthouse Physical Therapy, and um, it's my pleasure today to introduce a friend, Karen Kulberg, and she started a new initiative called Room for Love, and you are going to love this one. So Karen, please introduce yourself and yeah. tell us a little bit about um, uh, this new organization and maybe a little bit about what, what, what gave you the idea to start this in the first place. So, sure. so fun. Well, first of all, thank you so much for uh, giving me this platform to talk about Room for Love. Um, I'm Karen Kulberg. I am a local realtor for the Mass Yellow Group. I live in Hampton, New Hampshire, and um, made this area my home for many, many years. Um, how I thought of Room for Love is I like to take time every morning to have a cup of coffee and sort of meditate, you know, nothing real um, structured. It just takes some time for myself to think about things. So one morning early this year, I was um, thinking about my mom who passed away right before Christmas in 2019. And I'm thinking about different things and my childhood and, you know, different memories and something that came, came to the front is um, a memory I had of my 13th birthday of going to school on a normal day, you know, birthday. So it's a little bit different, but um, a weekday. Um, and coming home and going out to my bedroom and finding it completely transformed. Um, I don't know how my parents did it, <laughs> but they um, wallpapered my room being a, a white and red wallpaper. My mom had obviously done um, work on creating a vanity for me with the skirt. You know, those, we used to have those when we were younger, um, but the matching, the match the wallpaper and all new furniture. And I just thought I was a princess. I just felt that I had, you know, um, landed in this beautiful room and it was such a huge surprise and just a great gift for my 13th birthday. Um, so um, I, I started thinking it would be awesome to create that kind of experience for a child that doesn't have, um, you know, um, the means perhaps to, you know, have their parents or family do that for them. So Room for Love just came to mind. Um, and I thought it wouldn't be fun to reach out to different organizations that may know of children who would like to have a, a new room makeover. So we started reaching out to different organizations and now we're working with a few um, to identify children of uh, specific needs. And um, then we have a group of volunteers that will go in and transform a room for them. Um, so the, the organization that we're working with first is Step Up Parents. Um, have you talked to Step Up Parents yet? I think you have, yeah, I thought so. Uh, so reached out to Denise and said, hey, can you, you know, nominate some, some children? And what she did, she, she, we've got um, a couple of children to choose from at this point. And, um, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be such a heartwarming thing to accomplish. I'm really excited about it. Now, are you also working with another organization to build this or are you doing this all on your own? Yes, good point. I'm working because because we're not a nonprofit at this point. We need a fiscal agent because we are looking for donations, looking for sponsorships. Um, so we, um, Annie's Angels, uh, Bill from Annie's Angels is helping us out, which he does for a few other organizations. I know he's fantastic. So we appreciate him allowing us to... Um, you know, uh, he's going to put a, a tab on his website where people can go, I believe it's on, if you go to his website, you go into projects and the menu drops down and we're there and you're able to make a donation through that website. Um, and they're also, also looking for sponsors and, you know, they will handle all the financial part of that um, end of things. So that's going to be our big push. Uh, our, our first makeover is... Um, plan for the weekend after Labor Day. Um, so we're going to be doing a big push for fundraising for July and August. 
I do um, finding some connections uh, for donations as well, you know, like furniture or furnishings for for the room. Yeah, well, we will. What we'll do when we select our ch the child, we'll um, have a um, interview with that child and the family, ask the child, and the child really is going to drive this whole thing. You know, what are they looking for? What, what how, you know, how are they going to use their room? What do they envision? I mean, it's really giving them the, that power to create a space for themselves because having that space is just so important for children to have a special place of their own. And with Step Up Parents, um, you know, I remind your, your viewers that these are folks who are raising perhaps their grandchild, for instance, or another family member, uh, because the biological parent of that child may be suffering uh, or living with um, substance use disorder or perhaps incarcerated due to that. So, um, you know, they're, they may be put into the grandparents' room and, and the grandparents are, you know, they, they might have converted their child's room into a den or an office or whatever, or, you know, uh, or not even living in the same house they raised their family in. Um, so we ask the child you know, what they're looking for, what would they like, and then we try to match those needs. So, um, you know, as far as getting donations, we really, you know, have to kind of wait and see what's, what the child needs, what, the, what they want. Um, we're looking for new goods and I'm not really sure if I want to use used furniture and, and that kind of thing. But, you know, obviously if someone has something in great condition, we're not going to rule that out. Um, but it, I think we have to really interview the child to find out exactly what they want. And then we'll start looking for um, accumulating all of those elements that the child wants in their room. So uh, yeah, donations of, um, we've said donations. The first thing I thought was, you know, used furniture, but if people want to donate, um, you know, gift cards, or, you know, if they have, um, they want to make a donation of lighting or, you know, a mattress, a new mattress, things like that. That's, we certainly take those hardwares in lieu of cash. Um, so it sounds like you've already found your, your first child who's going to uh, get this fun room and it's great that they get to participate in this process. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Now, are they going to also participate in helping to actually create the room or are they going to be like, go away and then they're going to come back and yeah, have- Yeah, absolutely. Like, so they'll have a the reveal. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so that's, you know, the we have, that's one of the, part of the criteria is, is um, making sure the child has someplace else, to, a different place to sleep during the time that, and my parents got the room done in one day. So um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, we're giving ourselves a weekend to get it done. Um, but to have them sleep in a different area or, or a different, you know, room in the home, if that could be arranged, because they do want them to just open the door um, and see the room. But as I'm saying that, I'm also thinking if a child says, yeah, no, I really want to participate. I want to, you know, help with this, then we'll certainly let them do that. But I think ideally, and, and the way I'm envisioning it, it would be um, a reveal. That's one. What are what are you finding your your biggest because you're just starting this now so you must have some initial startup needs that you're looking for that people can help support you in? Yeah, we are really just starting. We um we, we you mentioned that we probably have already have a child. We we haven't chosen one yet. We'll have a selection committee sitting down hopefully within the next couple of weeks. Hopefully next week um, to select the, the child. We have a couple of nominations and. Um, um, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, initially, I think we're just looking for, excuse me, um, donations and sponsors. So we're looking for sponsorships of just $20, um, I'm sorry, $200 amounts. So we need, um, where's my list? I need 10 $200 furniture sponsors. I need two $200 paint sponsors. And I need three $200 room decor sponsors and one $200 book sponsor. So we're keeping all the sponsorship levels the same. And um, then we will be able to um, provide those sponsors with a package of um, you know, benefits for being a sponsor.
No, I, I, I think it's fantastic. So Karen, one of my questions is, you know, it's so hard to know because you haven't done one yet, but do you mm -hmm. have a vision of, you know, just a one a year, one a quarter, one every six months? Good question. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> you know, you get together in a group, you get really excited about this, thinking we'll do one a quarter, maybe four a year. Um, I, and, and next year, perhaps we'll do that. Um, right now, we're just focusing on getting through this one because we really don't know what it's going to cost. We don't, you know, and every child might be a little bit different. So if someone does make a donation or, or, a, um, or does sponsor, and there is my leftover that will just roll over to the next room because we definitely want to do more than than just this one we definitely want to keep it going um so yeah we we um you know this this september we'll do one maybe the first of next year in january and i'd like to do at least two a year but ideally one a quarter are you looking for volunteers to work on that weekend? You know, do you need? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, seminars? Do you need, you know, yep. depending on what the child wants. I mean, a, a child may want a loft in bed. So that's because going to call for a carpenter. They may want, um, you know, new flooring put in, in the room. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so that may call for someone who has expertise in uh, laying carpet or, um, you know, putting in plank flooring. Um, we may have a child who, you know, wants a mural painted on the wall. So we'll need an artist for that. So yeah, we are definitely looking for craftsmen to and um, artists to, to help out with that. Um, I, I saw a room recently where they had started with a mural and then the whole room was decorated around that mural. So if a child has something really special they want painted on the wall, um, it'll start there and, and kind of build out from, from that point. Wonderful. Well, I'm, I am so impressed with this whole concept and I think what an amazing way and initiative to give back and to make a difference in a, a young person's life in a really profound way. Um, and just bring that up and give them a safe and welcoming place to come back to, especially when some of these children are really- Absolutely. Yeah. And if you're being displaced from your home and, and put someplace else, no matter how loving the home is, you know, to have that special place of their very own where they can close the door and just, um, you know, have that space to be alone, to think. Um, our our, our um, mission statement is lovingly creating rooms for children to positively boost their enthusiasm and outlook, outlook on life. So there's nothing more exciting to me than an enthusiastic child. And I don't see that, you know, too, too often um, in, in any situation. I don't know, I think kids have a lot of pressure, a lot of stress on these days. So we want them, you know, our, the child that we choose to just um, have a new outlook and an enthusiasm um, for life and be able to take that into the classroom and into their um, relationships and friendships. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Karen. This has been great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, do you have your own uh, website that people can go to if they're We don't interested? have a website. Yeah, we don't have a website yet. Um, but on Facebook, we have a Facebook page, Room for Love on Facebook. Just um, search for that. Um, go to my Facebook page, it's just Karen Kohlberg, um, and there's information there which will point you to the Facebook page. We are going to, that's another thing that we could use with someone to help us with create, creating a website for, um, for this. Um, eventually we would like to, you know, make it a, um, a nonprofit. You get that um, um, categorization, am I saying that? <laughs> categorized as a nonprofit, um, but right now we're not. So, um, you know, we appreciate the help with Annie's Angels. So if you wanna go directly to Annie's Angels and make a donation through there. Also on my web, uh, I'm sorry, on my um, um, Facebook page, I'll have links to doing that. And also um, Realtors for Recovery is another orga organization that I participated in and we make, cause it, it, it um, it's sort of, I think, sort of sister organizations because we are working with children that may, in this case, um, do have um, connection with substance use disorder. So um, putting that information on Realtors for Recovery, 
might be another way to people to access and, and check out what we're doing. That's awesome. Well, this is going to be such a fun project to be able to follow along. And I, I can't wait to see the the reveal. Um, and I assume you'll be posting somewhere, probably on your Facebook page as well, and to yes, get a yeah. website. Yeah. Um, what kind of volunteer opportunities um, mm -hmm. will come out of this? And again, go, you know, for anybody interested, go to anniesangels.org and under their projects tab, you can um, make a donation or Karen Kahlberg's uh, Facebook page and you can keep track of this uh, really, really fun project. It's going to be great to That's watch. Great. Yeah. And um, yeah, you can reach out to me at Karen Kahlberg uh, at massiel.com and I can um, you know, di direct you to other um resources and yeah we'll definitely keep you posted and like i said we're starting um, probably next week we'll have a big uh push for our um fundraising and more information about the child and you know what we're doing great so, fantastic thank you very much. look forward to seeing it and um and we're we're just really excited for you and for the for this whole initiative so thank you for joining us today thank you very much